Now let's turn our attention to India, where homes are being decorated with lights and rangolis as millions celebrate Diwali, the festival of lights. This is a five-day festival and it has begun today with Dhanteras. Dhan means wealth. Dhanteras is a festival of prosperity and abundance, so it is considered auspicious for making purchases. If you're in India, you will find shops jammed with people who are buying gold, silver, and other valuables. And while this is common practice, there is more to Dhanteras than just the pursuit of material wealth. You see, Dhanteras coincides with Dhanvantri Jayanti. According to Hindu mythology, Dhanvantri is the god of medicine, the god associated with Ayurveda. He represents healing and well-being. And today, on the occasion of Dhanvantri Jayanti, health is also celebrated as a form of true wealth. On this occasion, Prime Minister Modi extended his greeting, saying that as a, that a nation's progress accelerates when its citizens are healthier. And this is true, not just for India, but for any country. We already know that when a nation's economy improves, the health of its citizens improve. But it may be less obvious that the opposite is also true. And the logic is quite simple here. The healthier the citizens, the more effective the workforce. So healthy people create economic health. By how much? As much as 50%. The health of people affects a country's economic growth by 50%. This is according to the World Bank. So without health, there is literally no wealth. And not just on a global or national level, but also on a personal level. As time goes by, as people mature, they experience more life at least in the philosophical sense, and their values evolve. The meaning we attach to wealth also changes with time. Research proves that as people grow in experience, the true meaning of wealth changes for them. They start associating true wealth with things that bring happiness. And what is true wealth then? Again, when researchers ask this, they're not really talking about money. This question is more about what truly gives you happiness. And the answer could be money. After all, money increases life satisfaction. But money is just a means to an end, a fulfilling life, which is manifested in many ways, like spending time in nature. For many, that is true wealth. Or having a strong community, asking for help and helping others, that is wealth. Prioritizing our relationships, eating well, taking care of our bodies, that is true wealth. These are unrelated things that bring us fulfillment in life. But do you know what unites them? Unsurprisingly, all of them improve our health, be it taking walks in nature or helping others or having strong relationships. All of these are crucial for good health, which explains why being healthy gives people more happiness than doubling their salary, for instance. And while this is logical, with enough data to prove it, many of us do not do the obvious things that can make us healthy. Sometimes a shock to our system helps us notice all of this. For instance, after the pandemic, 66% of the world population is paying more attention to their health. 40% people are apparently managing their well-being better by saving money for a rainy day, eating well, and exercising regularly. But we don't need a crisis to prioritize our health. So this week, amid the festivities, let's recommit to healthy habits and make choices, financial and otherwise life choices, that help rather than hurt us. After all, care is investment. Without investment, there is no health. And without health, there is no wealth. First Post decodes the U.S. election. Explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.